please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts in this video i will explain you cruciform building modeling uh, by using star pro vi software so firstly i will show you the cruciform building so now we can see these are the cruciforms which is formed near to one major structure okay so this one cruciform which is consisting of approximately it will be of a place shape and this is also approximately it will be of place shape and approximately will be of place shape so in this video i will explain you how to model the cruciform building by using statpro v8a software and how to analyze the building by using statpro v8a software so in my next coming video part 2 i will explain you how to design this particular cruciform building by using statpro v8a software so if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics okay so let's start our video so initially i am selecting my uh, statpro v8a software before that we have to save the model so that's why we have to create the folder here so just i'm selecting the folder is c let us consider so just i'm selecting here my start provider software will be open here like this so initially i'm selecting new project select the spacing option giving the name as c so just select the three dots marks just i'm selecting here as c click on ok select the units will be in kilonewton as well as the meter is the distance again in the same process we have to click on next option now we have to select the beam only option click on finish option so here in this case just i'm taking uh 10 floors cruise form building so for that firstly we have to go to geometry directly in order to make the simple model uh click on run structure wizard option from this we have to select the frame models option select the b frame the so length of the building just i'm taking here in this particular cruise model building is uh let us consider as 12 number of the base which is existing in length direction distance and a g plus 10 building structural model which is of 11 in high direction width will be consisting of 12 numbers so length will be approximately of 36 uh, uh, otherwise you can consider it as uh, 4 meter if you consider the center to center distance between the each column will be 4 if you consider 4 meter then it will become 48 and here in this case 33 is the height and here in this case 48 is the width so click on apply option now you can see this is the building structural model so we have to import this model to start software so click on yes option click on ok option so now it was importing processes uh, making for the members for this particular cruise form building structural model so now it was done with importing process just select the top view we have to delete all unwanted beams and columns for this particular section so here i'm selecting so here i'm selecting this members like this in order to make the cruise form structure so click on delete option click on yes option so that it will make the irregularity structural model so now i'm selecting on the left hand side model so it will uh, be consisting of 4 by 4 section model here click on delete option click on yes option in the same way we have to delete all the members which is on the downside section so here i'm selecting these members again in the same process just i'm selecting these members like this again i'm selecting this member 4 by 4 structural model sorry 4 by 4 4 by 4 4 by 4 this is the 4 by 4 right so 4 by 4 click on delete option so it will take some time for deleting the options you can wait for some time for uh, making the cruise forms so now we can see it was done with uh, all the cruise forms just we have to click on the place mark here so firstly we have to add the slab section at the base if you want to extend the cruise forms in horizontal direction you can directly select here with this uh, one single beam and again you can select an another single beam you can copy that uh, respected beams to the x direction or y direction you can apply directly uh, what we call it as uh, structure wizard then we have to click on link steps option if you want to extend one step then you can enter the number of uh, meter dimensions so that it will extend one step here like this in the same process if you want to extend the beams in, in this direction also you can extend in uh, x direction with the distance is minus 4 in horizontal direction click on the link steps option click on ok option so that it will extend here like this so now you can see it is having length direction will be more having more dimensions than compared with uh, width direction firstly we have to delete all the uh, members which is exist in the base now we have to add the slab section for this particular cruise form building for that go to click on cut section command select to view option click on ok now we have to select the uh, beam say which is exist on the ground floor click on the 3d view option so we have to add the four node plate here this time selecting first two point second point third point fourth point in the same process we have to apply the four node plate for the rest of the four members here just i'm selecting here like this like this so in the same process we have to copy this uh, members to remaining section 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 members 
select this particular sections select this transitional repeat in x direction which is consisting of 13 numbers each will be consisting of 4 meter we are taken here click on ok so that it will copy here like this in the same process you can select these uh, plates we have to copy these plates to z direction distance go to click on the transitional repeat in z direction which is consisting of 1 2 3 4 4 number of the steps each will be consisting of 4 meter click on ok in the same process you can create uh, another plate sections in this uh, z direction distance so just i am selecting z direction which is consisting of 4 number each will be consisting of minus 4 meter why because we have to copy in another direction click on ok so that it will create your slabs here like this ok so after that we have to click on whole structure now we have to select the all the slabs which is exist in the ground floor we have to create the copies in y direction distance just i am selecting y direction distance steps will be consisting of 10 number each floor will be consisting of 3 meter click on ok so that it will copy the slab section to the remaining floors now i will show you this model in 3d rendering view so before that we have to apply the uh, beam section column section dimensions okay so firstly i will apply the properties then after that i will show you the uh, values uh, rendering view for this particular building go to general option for that click on property click on define option for this building structure just i am taking the uh, column size is approximately 0.8 cross 0.8 here click on add so again i am taking the beam size which is consisting of 0. Uh, uh, 8 cross 0 0.5 let us take here 0 0.5 click on add option now we have to select the slab thickness click on select the slab thickness 0 0.15 is the slab thickness we have to select the column here rectangular of 0 0.8 cross 0 0.8 so select the beams parallel to y direction condition system assigned to selected beams assign yes option so that it will apply all the properties for the column in the same process we have to apply the properties for the beam sections also just i am selecting its direction just I am selecting in Z direction distance. Click on assign to selected beams, assign option, yes option. In the same process, we have to apply the plate thickness for this particular building. Select the plate thickness, assign to view option, assign yes option. So that it will apply the plate thickness. Now I will show you this model in rendering view. For that, click on the 3D rendering view option, which is available on the top. So that it will load the 3D rendering view for the building structure. Now we can see this is the cruciform building structural model, which is made with the stat pro v8i software so it will be consisting of the shape here like this so after modeling process completed we have to apply the support condition system for that go to click on the general option select the support condition system click on create option add your fixed support condition select your support to with the help of the front view we have to select all the node points at the base click on assign to selected nodes assign yes option so that it will apply the support conditions at the base here like this now we have to apply the load cases for this building for that we have to go to load cases and definition firstly we have to define the seismic loading condition why because the structure is heavy there will be a chance of getting seismic load intensity for this particular building seismic load intensity click on add option so select the uh, code which is of is codal provision standard click on generate option so from this i am selecting zone will be consisting of fourth zone which is of 0 0.24 you can consider your zone depends upon your consideration select the soil type will be of medium just i am taking here click on add option now we have to uh, add the uh, damping ratio as 5 percentage here click on 0 0.05 here so click on add option firstly we have to add the self weight initially then we have to add the member weight so select the member weight which is of 24.3 in my previous video which is related to complete designing of g plus 4 building structural model i was explained how to calculate this 24.3 load which is related to external wall load internal wall load as well as the parapet wall loading condition system okay you can watch that video i will provide you that video in a book cart link click on add option so again we have to select the floor load weight so just i am taking floor load will be consisting of minus 2 which is acting at a distance of y direction distance of let us consider uh, 3 meter and uh, just i am taking 33 meter here okay click on add button so close option select the uniform load of 24.3 kilo newton per meter we have to select the beams parallel to x condition system again we have to select the beams parallel to z condition system why because this respected uh, wall load condition will be act for the beams only click on assign to selected beams assign option yes option so after this we have to apply the wind loading condition select the wind load click on option click on add button close option select the type 1 wind 1 click on add button so we have to calculate as per ICE. if you know the value is about this particular height you can enter okay so if you calculate let us consider i was calculated that particular loading intensity values according to my height so i am obtaining uh, 1.2 kilonewton per meter square uh, which is acting at a distance of let us consider 33 meter 
Again, I am taking 1 kN per meter square, which is acting at a distance of 21 meter. Let us take, this time I am taking 0.8 as per our example, 15 meter, which is acting at a distance of, let us consider 0.6, which is acting at a distance of 9 meter. Let us consider. So, click on add option so that it will add the seismic uh, wind loading intensity with the factor as one option, add option, close option. Select the exposure factor, assign to V option, assign yes option. Now, we have to add the load case details here. Click on add button, select the load case which is related to first one is seismic loading intensity which is of earthquake load in x direction condition click on add again earthquake load in y direction condition click on add now we have to add the wind loading condition system so wind just i am taking as wind x direction add button again i am selecting wind y direction condition add button select the dead loading condition give the name as dl add button select the live loading condition give the name as ll add button Close option. Select the earthquake load in x direction. Click on add button. Select the load which is related to seismic intensity with factor as one value. Click on add button. Close option. Select the wind load which is sorry earthquake load y direction. Click on add button. Select this particular uh, seismic load intensity which is acting in z direction with factor one. Add button. Close option. Select the wind x direction. Add button. Select the load which is related to wind load intensity with factor as one. Again in the same process we have to add the factor as minus one intensity. Again, I am selecting Z value, Z direction wind loading intensity. Select the wind load intensity, which is in Z direction with factor 1. And we have to add the factor as minus 1 intensity. Close option. Again, we have to select the dead load intensity. Select the dead load, add button. Firstly, we have to add the self weight intensity. Again, we have to add the member load, which is related to external wall load intensity, internal wall load intensity, and parapet wall load intensity, which is consisting of minus 24.3 cumulative value. We can add. Select the floor load intensity, which is of uh, minus 3, let us take, which is acting at a distance of 3 meter as well as the 33 meter here. Click on add button, close option. Now we have to select the cell fit by using assign to view option. We have to assign for the particular structure. So here I am selecting assign to view, assign yes option here. So that it will apply the cell fit condition for the building. Now we have to apply the wall load condition system for the particular uh, beam sections only. So for that we have to select the uh, 24.3 kN per meter intensity. We have to deselect the model. Then after that we have to select the beams which are parallel to x direction condition system. Again in the same process we have to select the beams which are parallel to z direction condition system here. z direction condition system here. So click on assign to selected beams option here. Okay. Select the assign to selected beams option from this particular section. Click on assign option. So click on yes option. So that it will apply the self weight condition system for the beams. Again in the same process we have to apply the live loading condition system. Select the live loading intensity loading condition. Deselect the building. Apply the add button. So select the floor load condition system from this. So here I am selecting minus 5. Let us take which is acting at a distance of 3 and 33 meter. Click on add button here. Click on close option here. So after this, we have to add the load combination, select the load cases and details, click on add button, select the auto load combination according to Indian standard system, click on generate option, click on add button, again we have to click on close option. Now we have to analyze the structure after the uh, applying the load cases, click on close option here. So we have to click on run analysis option from this particular section. So it will take some time for analysis process, why because the structure will be heavy here. So wait for some time, we will wait for some time. So here you can see my model is obtained with zero errors. Go to post processing mode option, click on done option, apply your load cases, click on OK. So that it will display the dis uh, shear for uh, sorry deflection diagram for the particular structure of cruise form building. Okay. In the same process, you can see the shear force diagram. So click on the shear force diagram. This is the shear force diagram for the cruise form building. In the same process, you can apply the MZ value. This is the bending moment diagram for the cruise form building. So this is the complete process of modeling and uh, applying the load cases and analysis part which is related to cruise form building. So in my upcoming video, I will explain you how to design this particular cruise form building by using StatPro V8A software. If you have any queries about this video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that I will give you the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.